I'm Deputy Jerry Wenger. My canine partner is Bali, and I've had him for three years. Our job and our duty is to find fleeing criminals. We're not doing narcotics work. We're not bomb sniffing with our canine partners. We get anybody out that's hiding or fleeing. Bottom line. Good boy. Broward County, Florida has some dangerous areas and some not so dangerous areas. Our job is to keep everything safe. Jerry, you up? Yeah, go ahead. I'm Detective Jeff Brown, the Broward County Sheriff's Office. I've been partnered with Jerry for the past eight years. We drive in separate vehicles. He drives a marked canine unit, and I drive an unmarked vehicle. It's my job to watch our six witches behind us, our flanks, high, low, and to assist Jerry in whatever he needs. So I'm having this discussion in my own mind right now, and I'm thinking, I think actually once a week I'd like to be Bali. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, Get driven around, not have to drive the car. You know what I'm saying? Be pampered a little. Be pampered, go out and play, come back, have someone give you water. All the chicks dig you. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to be as hairy as him. We'd, we'd get a haircut. I would say my relationship with Bali's probably like a love-hate. I love him and he hates me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, he was going to bite you? I just heard like a chomp. Yeah, I guess he does have a good life. This guy carjacked somebody with a loaded weapon and he took off running. Oh, what a huge danger that is to the citizens of Brown County. All right, wait for canine, guys. Wait for canine. It's our 41 car. You want a long gun? Yep. Oh, watch it. Yeah. Jeff gets his rifle out because it's a high stress situation for somebody that's armed. We want to be more armed than the bad guy here. We always want to be one up. If so he's got a handgun, we want, we want a, a rifle. rifle. If he's got a rifle? Well, we're, 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 we're kind of stuck. We're bringing our rifle. Can we bring anything? We'll bigger? bring two rifles All right. and two handguns. So if he's got a rifle, we're going to bring two rifles. <laughs> Jeff, find the wind. A lot of times we use the wind to determine how we're going to search. Whichever way the wind's blowing, the flame, you'll see the flame move. Out of the south? Okay. We try to start our searches downwind so the odor's coming towards you. I took Bali out. I brought him to the last place the subject was seen fleeing, and I attempted to gain a track. Find him in. Bali, find him in. Bali's senses are 10,000 times stronger than ours. When you smell a pot of stew, they smell the ingredients. Find the man. Where's he at? Check here. When a guy takes off running and he flees from the police, wherever he started running from, that odor is going to be the strongest. They have what's called fear odor. And he's definitely smelling fear odor. You I mean east or west, but I'm thinking, hey, you in the red shirt, get on the ground. Get on the ground. It's extremely dangerous anytime we come across any individual while we're searching. We don't know if that's the bad guy or if it's not the bad guy. Get on the ground! Ah. Put your hands out to the side! K9544. Is there an additional suspect wearing red? When I checked the radio, they advised that the subject that fled from them was not wearing red. And we had him escorted out to the deputies that were on scene. We gotta keep searching. All right, Bali's on something. We're in odor. Out of point. Way to find that man. Bali, when he's on odor, he pulls very hard. So he lets me know that he's tracking by the way that he drives his nose into the ground and starts pulling as hard as he can. Come on. Bali, find him in. Watch out. Bali was telling me he was there. He started to alert to the hedge line. I could see kind of like a silhouette and like it looked, would look like part of a person. Let me see your hands. He's not coming out. You better come out or you're going to get bit. Show us your hands. He's not coming out. I don't see him. This person used the gun to rob this person and take their vehicle. At this point, I assume that this guy's armed. I can't see his hands. You better come out or you're going to get bit. Coming up. Roll down your window. Put your hands up. Everybody in the car, get your hands up. 
Hey, people! You got guns out! Get out of the way! This guy carjacked somebody with a loaded weapon and took off running. Wait for K9, wait for K9, we're almost there. Find him in. Show us the K9, let me see your hands! Show us your hands! Let me see your hands! He's not coming out. You can't see his hands. Come out or you're gonna get bit! He's not coming out. Stop fighting the dog! Get him out of there, Bobby! Get him out of there, get on the grip! Stop fighting the dog! Good boy, Bali. I need someone to grab his arm. Grab his arm. You should have came out. Then why did you come out when the dog when they told you about the dog? Let's get him up and I'll escort him out. Had a boy, Bali. So now that we got this guy in custody, rescue will go ahead and look at him, take him to the hospital, and then he'll be off to jail. Had a boy, Bali. Here's from my boy. Uncle Jeff gonna beat you something right now, my brother. Watch your hand. This is exactly why you have a canine unit. There is no other tool this agency has that could have done what Bali did tonight for us. Hey, that's big time. Arm carjacking. He wants to get in the car. Yeah, I'd give you nuts too, brother, but that ain't happening. There's Wait. only one guy going to the hospital tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be and him. And that's him. And at the end of that, that's that right there. You know what that is? Two? No, close. That's victory. You gotta kill them germs. You know what I mean? Yo, Jer, healthy hands is a healthy body. That's right. And that's why I haven't been sick in 18 years. Right. Jeff is a very funny guy when it comes to cleanliness or germs. Is that funny, germs? Apparently it's not funny, Jeff. No. It's very serious I to you. Think uh, you got anything I need to know about? Disgusting. I felt something moist on him. I don't even know what that means. You should be sponsored by a hand sanitizer company. Oh, jeez, you stink. That was one of the most disgusting person I ever met in my life. I'm so freaked out right now. I don't consider myself a germaphobe, but at meals I do like to use plastic utensils, styrofoam cups, and I try not to touch the condiments. Either Jerry will help put them on for me or I'll use a napkin to pick them up. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. Every day.